In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your spark plugs on this Dodge Ram 2500 with the 5.7 liter Hemi engine. Let's get started. The process for all of these is going to be exactly the same, so I'm just going to show you this one. And for the other ones, the only thing you're going to have to do different is just reach around different things like wires or hoses that are in the way. Having said that, let's start by unplugging the ignition coil up here, press on the tab, pull the connector out. Then there are two 10 millimeter headed bolts, one on each end of the ignition coil that we're gonna have to remove so we can pull this off. The bolt won't come out completely. It's going to stay in here. So let's break free the other one. With both of them unthreaded, you should be able to remove the ignition coil. Take a 5 8 spark plug socket with an extension if needed, drop it down into the cylinder and break this free. Remove the spark plug. Once you unthread it, you have a spark plug socket, it should come out with it. Mine's a little bit weak, so I'm just going to stick a magnet in and pull the spark plug right out. There it is. It's important to have a spark plug socket because a spark plug socket will hold on to the spark plug properly. When you insert it, it won't fall off. So at this point, you wanna make sure that it's well seated in there and put it right down into the spark plug hole. It's important to not drop them in because if you do, they can get damaged. At this point, I'm threading it in by hand. It's going in nice and smoothly, which means it's not cross-threading. That's a good thing. And that means the threads are nice and clean as well. I'm gonna go up until it bottoms out and we're gonna torque it down and uh, move on to the next one. There are 15 more to do. That's it, let's torque it down. Just as a side note, so that you know, the gap on these spark plugs is supposed to be 0.04. However, you technically shouldn't be gapping them because especially if they're iridium plugs, you can damage the coating on them. They should be pre-gapped, but it's always good to know. The torque for these is going to be 13 foot-pounds, give or take two foot-pounds, so anywhere between 11 and 15. As you can see, that's not a lot. As soon as it bottomed out, less than an eighth of a turn, got them torqued to 13 foot-pounds. It's important that these are properly tightened. Like I said, move on and do the rest of them. I like to add a little bit of dielectric grease to the edges of the boot here on the end. This is a new ignition coil, so it already comes with it. But if yours did not have any, add just a little bit. And now, drop it down into the appropriate uh, cylinder. Make sure both plugs or both boots line up with both plugs. Press it down until the bolt holes line up. Start these by hand. They'll start it on properly. So let's tighten them up. Bottomed out, check this one. Let's torque them. 62 inch pounds is the torque for these two bolts. That's very low, so if you're doing this by hand, just give them a little snug. That's torqued. Plug it back in. Make sure the connector clicks. And there you go. Do the same to all the rest of them. On this side, it's pretty easy to access all of them except for those uh, last one or two in the back there where you just have to reach around the brake booster, uh, but there still is plenty of clearance. As soon as you pull the ignition coil out, just bend it out of the way. There's not much special about that. Now on the other side, it might seem more difficult, but it's actually not. All you have to do is just reach around these hoses, the intake snorkel here, and then in the back, you're gonna have some wires that you can just move out of the way. And it's as easy as that. You don't actually have to take off any other components to get to these. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do.
TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.